What's up, everyone? This is The Raw Truth coming at you with part two of the hypocrisy we have for Rachel DeLiso. Want to get more in debt with it. During the feminist time, remember in the 70s, in the 1960s, well, when black women, when you followed uh, Gloria into the feminist, you followed white women into the feminist, to get all kind of money and stuff from the government. You know, in other words, you abandoned us during the civil rights, got feminists to get all these accolades and all these gifts and stuff like that from the white man so you can get away from us, you know, so-called free yourself from us, but yet come at leaving us, you went to another man. That's all you did. You went to another man who gave you money to destroy your community, right? Now, there is a video called uh, feminist social engineering by a woman by the name of Statuist One. And one of the black feminists told her that the, uh, the reason why they wear the hair that they wear is to take off the crown of the black man and put on the crown of somebody else. So black feminists and womanists are in line and that group is very, 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 very big to do that. To, and they're teaching daughters, they're teaching our daughters how to do that as well. So you, when you see little kids going around with weave in their head and it's blonde, understand that's come from that mindset. So therefore, taking off our crown and putting on someone else, you have aligned yourself with putting on somebody else's identity so therefore when you're looking at this and understanding what Rachel DeLiso has done she didn't have to take off her hair she didn't have to do anything to her hair the way she made up herself but it's kind of funny how a lot of black women is complaining about Rachel DeLiso but yet you're the one who left with the white woman See, now I begin to understand why there's so much anger. Because, see, if the black man will leave the black woman like the black woman left the black man, and he leaves the black woman and go to the white woman, he can get those same accolades. Why? Because what, what, what would a white woman do? The white woman knows her man. See, one thing that you black women don't understand is this. The white woman can always get something from her man. You choose not. See, so if the black man would align himself with women like uh, Rachel DeLiso, he can be able to get a whole lot of things going. Oh, you need this for, for your business? This is what I will do. She will go to her man, get all kind of grants of funding, and bring that right back to the black man and let the black man build his kingdom. See, I see why there's a whole lot of jealousy and anger with black women. Boy, black woman is downing Rachel DeLiso. See, black woman, you're the one who has the books on how to get a white man. You're the one who has in the books leaving the black girl attitude at home, which means that black girl attitude is only reserved for the black man. You're the one who's putting in their hair. You're the one who's putting in their eyes. You're the one who sit up there and have all kind of books and stuff dealing with being a loving and appreciation white of white men. But here's something which you don't understand. White men themselves play us. The white man has always called himself the Vikings. The Vikings is not white man's history. The white man has always called himself the Jews. There's not one record of any white person ever being a Jew. But the Bible will tell you that the Jews were people of color, black unto the ground. The white man has called himself Native American Indians when the main Native American Indians we know are dark skinned. The white man has always called himself the Knights of the Round Table, called himself King James. So the white man has a history of taking our history and take not only taking our history, whitewashing our history so he could be like it's his history whenever it's ours. But I don't see you black woman getting angry at the white man for that. Well, the best counterpart and the counterfeit, I mean, the best counterfeit is the white man himself because he has portrayed himself in so many histories, mainly our history. But yet we're not upset. We're not upset at the white man. Why? Why not? See, black woman, when you sit up there and criticize Rachel DeLizzo, and if you you sit up there and say, well, the white man has this, or, or, or the, what if it was the white man? The white man has been doing it for hundreds of years. Look at these doggone stupid scum of the earth Jesus flicks that's out there on TBN. How come it always showed Jesus Christ as a white man? When according to the Bible, he's a black man. When according to ancient Israelite paintings, he's a black man. So why is he playing Jesus? It, shouldn't we be upset with that? Shouldn't we be upset that uh, uh, about, about the deception there? And these are the same white men you black women love so much. Y'all put on the pedestal. So it's okay for the white man to do it, huh? 
So therefore, you black woman gets no, no, y'all lost all credibility because the same men that you talk about, what if it's the white man? We are already dealing with the white man and it's the white man who has even the white woman who are admitting that black people are the real Jews, that black people are God's chosen people. So we already seen the results because we've challenged. You have to understand, we challenged anything that's fraudulent. But what Susan Del- uh, Rachel DeLiesel did, so sure she did her fraud she did her fraud but I'm going to tell you the fraud that she did by claiming to be a black woman she didn't hurt black nation she didn't hurt the black people she wanted to work with black people because here she is she's just like a lot of those white girls out there who love our culture and when people love our culture and love and respect who who they are uh, respect us for who we are and want to be like us that should have been a compliment for us that should have been something that we hold our head up high especially you insecure black woman you should have held yourself up high how a woman will sit up there and be a white woman and want to and want to uh pass her off as you who wanted to be you that's something that should have floated your ego that's something that should have made you happy but it made you angry and it made you angry for the wrong reasons because now i can reverse everything of your anger towards what you have towards her for your master the white man with what he did to our nation by counterfeiting and stealing our history and wanting to be us anyway so what is the problem <laughs> The problem is we have selected outrage and selected outrage has always gotten our nation in trouble. And I'm going to deal with a selective outrage that's going to come up next. You know, I got to deal with that. But um, I want to look definitely really, really deep into this. Now, I brought up before last video about transsexual, the L-G-T-T-B-G, so many <laughs> alphabets. How everybody wants to protect them. Shouldn't Rachel uh, DeLiesel been protective? I mean, y'all sit up there, y'all call yourself Christians, but yet support the LG, you know, the lesbian, gay, tranny, uh, transgender, transsexual, gay, bisexual movement. Y'all support that, but you cannot support a woman who just wanted to be a black woman. My gosh, black woman. And you black men who sit up there, I understand you revolutionary, and you're talking about, all oh, the white woman is this, but a lot of y'all revolutionary black men, y'all be sleeping and banging white people, white women too. Come on, man. Y'all be banging them. I be seeing some of these revolutionary guys walk around with the white woman who has dreads. Come on, I see y'all. I see y'all. And a lot of y'all are angry because, oh, because a lot of y'all still is on that black woman is God crap. And I'm noticing that those men are the ones who are speaking more against Rachel uh, DeLiesel because y'all on that black woman is God crap when that black woman herself has committed genocide and murdered over 550,000 babies a year through abortion. Now, I need you to tell me, did Rachel DeLiesel have an abortion? She got pregnant by a black man, didn't she? Did she have an abortion? Or was she married when she got pregnant? Uh-oh. Maybe we need to go deeper. Should we go deeper? Come on, people. We talk so much stuff and want to get on everybody else's case, but we don't look at our own damn nation and realize what the hell we, we're doing. We are so messed up as a nation, but we want other nations to listen to us as if we got something to say. Before we deal with other nations, don't you think we need to deal with ourselves? But no, we just want to deal with Rachel DeLiesel as an escape for us for not dealing with us. That's what white media does, and we ain't no different. The white media has make think about it. The white media went to the parents, and the parents outed Rachel. Why? Rachel was doing a whole heck of a lot for black people. You can't have that, so let's out her. Focus on why the parents wanted to out their daughter in the first doggone place, and what the hell the parents doing in the first place? Was the parents racist or so, themselves? Is it that? Is that why? Huh? Did they, did they see the poor upbringing? But remember. Rachel DeLiesel, she had black children. She didn't abort them. She want, she they got her folks ado- adopting black children. Come on now. Adopting black children? Were well, the children treated good? I don't know. Maybe they did something Rachel didn't like. Got to understand a lot more people is going to start loving our nation and want to emulate that. And they do it anyway. They dunk like us. We don't get mad when a white boy dunks like us. Oh, because that's a white boy. I see. I see, I see, because let a white woman start doing the things we do, there might be an uproar from you 
hypocrite, hypocrite, hypocrisy, black woman. It's a doggone shame how my nation will sit up there and do that. Do that to her, but yet you won't do it to the same. You won't have that same hatred, you pro blacks and all y'all. Y'all won't have that same hatred for the white man who passes his off himself off as us for a very very long time. You know where where's the outward to that? Where's the outrage to that? Selective outrage is not good. Me myself, I'm for my people, as I say. I'm for my people, but if you ask me to be fair, and I gotta be fair. I see nothing wrong with Rachel DeLiso. I see absolutely nothing wrong with Rachel DeLiso. As a matter of fact, she make me feel like I'm Boaz because Boaz got his Moab. Uh -huh. And who was Boaz? An Israelite. And who was Moab? That Chinese woman who left and abandoned every one of her family members in the Bible. Read it. Read it. That's what Ruth is all about. Uh huh. And she abandoned everybody in her household just to follow the God of Israel. Well, Rachel DeLizzo abandoned everyone in her household just to follow our culture that came from the God of Israel. So come on now. I, I, if I look at it biblically, I, I, I see nothing wrong. And, and you black women love to say, well, the black man is lusting and supporting her and stuff. We'll support anybody who is supporting our nation. Who has no secret agenda? Now, do Rachel DeLiso, does she have a secret agenda? Maybe, just maybe, just think about it. Maybe there's a secret hidden agenda to get Rachel DeLiso off of the NAACP. Maybe she was on to something that would have benefited us. Maybe, just maybe that she knew something inside of what her people is doing that she wanted to blow the whistle and all of a sudden, because this thing about it, all of a sudden, she gets out and out. Now, all these years, she hasn't. But now she gets out and out. She may, she may have helped the black race too much. But you never would know that, would you? Had we stood up there and not wait, and, and waited, maybe that was God's plan for her to do that. You don't know. You don't know at all. But until then, black woman, you stop wearing blonde weaves and stop putting, stop putting their hair on. Take those contacts out. Stop getting uh, surgeries to look like them. Stop writing books how to get a white man le or leave the black girl attitude at home. You black revolutionaries, you're pro-black. Stop with your crap that you want to kill your own brother. Talking worse than the Ku Klux Klan, because see, when you talk about death to your own brother, is it not the white man's agenda to kill us? So why match them? But um, not too many people have that to say. See, I'm, what I'm doing is throwing logic at y'all, and this logic is hurting, but it's going to stick. So ask me, ask me again. I I don't see nothing wrong, and I see well on the applic job application she lied. She said that she was white, uh, she was black. She said she was black, so she lied. Well, let me tell you something. If you're educated like I am and you look at the job application, it's been a lie all the time because there's no nationality on there. On the job application, African American, those are two white men's names. Black, that's a color. What nationality is that? What language, where's the language called black? Where's the language called African? Where's the language called America? Come on, what's Hispanic? Well, well we speak Spanish, but what's Hispanic? Native American, you're native of a white man? Come on, look up, look these words up. So the job application in itself is a lie. So come on now, let's stop with this nonsense. Rachel DeLizzo was the same as some white girls who love black culture so much who wanted to be like you black woman, even though you at the bottom, wanted to be like you, but didn't have the attitude that y'all have and wanted to help the black race out. And this is what you do. And meanwhile, you black woman be putting half braids on the pedestal, didn't you? Be putting other be women who look just as white as she is on the pedestal. Look at the hypocrisy we have. Folks, let's wisen up about this and think logically. All right, let's do that. Till then, I'm the raw truth, and I'm coming at you with another video. You know, want to hear your comments, your uh, feedback, hate mail, death threats, whatever. Send it. Again, I'm the raw truth, and peace out, everyone. Peace.